At least 157 people are believed to have been killed in an earthquake in western Nepal. The shallow quake of magnitude 5.6 hit the remote hill district of Jajakot, which is about 500 kilometers west of Kathmandu. Strong tremors were felt in the capital and in Indian cities, including Delhi. Hospital officials in Jajakot say they were treating more than 40 injured people rescued from the rubble of their homes. Well, let's cross live now to the BBC Nepali correspondent Asha Dahal, who's in Kathmandu. And Asha, just talk us through the latest. What do we know? The death toll from the midnight earthquake that hit the western part of Nepal has raised 157, and more than 300 people have been injured in the incident. Our local correspondent, who has reached the worst hit area recently, told us that people are staying outside their home in cold weather as their houses is either cracked or collapsed, and they complain of a lack of tents for shelters and inadequate relief materials. Uh, local authorities, has, or authorities have urged people to stay outside for at least 24 hours as they are reporting minor jolts and aftershocks in the areas. Officials are worrying about uh, distributing relief uh, materials and uh, rescue efforts as it is turning dark in Nepal, and electricity facilities in many affected areas is being cut off. Some among more than uh, 300 injured have been airlifted in the urban facilities, including in Kathmandu, and Nepal's Prime Minister Puspakamal Dahal, who had uh, witnessed the worst hit area this morning, has said he will announce uh, more relief and rescue mat relief materials to the victim. And uh, the government is also expected to uh, take decisions about whether to take uh, foreign aids uh, for the relief uh, to the quake victims, as uh, Nepal's uh, neighbor, India and China, are uh, proposing uh, relief and humanitarian aids to the quake victims, uh, uh, quake victims, people of Nepal. And uh, uh, people are still afraid of uh, aftershocks and major jolts in the areas, and they are still in panic situation, according to our local correspondent. And just while you've been talking, we've just been seeing pictures of the rubble, the devastation uh, in the area. Just talk us, talk us through the area. How common are quakes like this in that region? Uh, Nepal uh, uh, lies in the quake-prone areas. It's, it is in the seismic belt between India and China. So uh, uh, minor quakes are common in Nepal, and 6.3 magnitude uh, quake uh, had, uh, had damaged uh, many houses last month in the nearby area. And after 2015, 7.8 magnitude earthquake that killed uh, nearly 9,000 9, people in Nepal. Uh, many aftershocks is being still uh, being reported, and its aftershock was uh, reported even in last month. And Nepal has uh, observed many uh, quakes, uh, small jolts, um, more than five uh, or four magnitude, even in recent month and. Seismologists have warned a major earthquake in the western part of the country as it is uh, it, uh, it it has been quite a long uh, period in that area to release the power. Ashok Dahal, who is in Kathmandu, thank you for that update. And of course, as we get more information on that earthquake, we will bring you the latest here on BBC News.